slightly at fault for their second goal? Not in my opinion, no. Um, I think as the ball travels on the cross, it's a miss hit cross, obviously. He follows that. He retreats to his goal when he realises he can't get it. Um, I think the problem was that when we defend, we, we sunk to the six yard box. Chilwell pops up the other side of that. Someone's got to be tighter to him. Well, it's a decision that uh, I think you know, you make decisions every week and every day sometimes in this job and no decision is easy as such. Um, when it comes to a goalkeeper, you probably do give it a little bit more thought and a bit more time, especially I suppose if someone seems to be the designated number one. But that can't be the end of the story. We have to be competitive. Will, he trains well, he acts well, he played well against Hull last week and I decided to stick with him. I think a fair point. On, on play, first half, I thought we were the better team. Um, had some good chances. I know they had some, we gifted a few to be fair, but I thought our work off the ball and uh, some of our stuff on the ball was good to come here and play with that personality. Um, but second half, of course, they have a, a chance late in the game as well. I think it evened itself out and uh, I'm, I'm, I am pleased with the point. Yeah, I mean, we did miss him. We did miss him because he brings uh, an, an aggression and uh, a, a presence um, in, in everything that he does. And I think that's good because we have young players in, in those areas as well. And I think he's a more experienced out of our centre back. So he brings his quality in lots of ways. And set pieces is something that we have been a bit short on in terms of are we how much desire we've got to put our head on it and score goals. And, uh, and he brings that naturally. So I was delighted with his two goals. We need to score more from set pieces, particularly in these games against good opposition where it's tight. So please, really please with Tony. Yeah, they, they did. But I think I also feel that we had as good a chance, probably Tammy in the first half and Reese James's cross where he's there and doesn't get anything on it. And a couple of bits around their box where, you know, you, for instance, the Chilwell goal, we had similar situations to that two or three times in the first half and we don't score. So I, I think those even themselves out over the game. It was nothing to do with the frame of mind, no, but he has had you know, a few days where a lot of scrutiny has been on him and around him. So I think it was a case of travelling without him. We all go away now for, for a week away from each other, which is probably what's needed for everyone. Um, and then we come back and work hard and Olivier is here and you know train, play. If he shows himself in training, because that's how I pick the team generally, then he'll get his opportunities. No, just yeah, just a choice. It wasn't really to shore it up, but we'd spent a lot of time and a lot of work this week on how we press without the ball. And um, I thought Ross uh, um, has been playing pretty well recently. And I thought it was just a case of bringing him on, him and William were then in those two front positions to, to maybe get a bit more ball. Because at that point, we'd not, it hadn't stuck so much up there. Um, yeah, it was a, just a choice. I don't, it's gone, it's gone. I, I'm not interested in the window. I'm not interested in talking about it. I'm interested in the point we got today and what we do going forward. Chapman. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the players are. And, and I think, you know, it's a, a, being a footballer is a fortunate job. You do what you love. Um, and, so, you know, sometimes you get home maybe after lunchtime, I don't know. But they also, it's taxing, it's taxing with the pressure. It's taxing on the players' families wives and, and, and children that maybe don't see them so much and we've got a lot of games so I, I absolutely think the benefits of the break are, are there um, and yeah they should enjoy it uh, and then they come back and they'll work hard not a mini pre-season but something like to that for a few days at least to, to get them back I think it's good for the Premier League.